than 100 years ago. Three men decided to build their houses by a cliff. They were trying to stay away as far as possible from the city, especially during the Great Depression. But one day, at Kamei Botany Bay National Park and we just parked the car in the parking zone and we started our walk. Today we're going to dig in the rocks. The walk was easy, nothing too steep but it is a bit dangerous if you try to get close to the cliff. doesn't have any fence so there's a lot of people here I think died because I can see a lot of crosses um, on the edges it's like when someone dies they put cross we ask you to recognize the importance of this place to all Aboriginal people past present and future Tabigai cliff dwellers. They wanted to live in peace, far from the city. But where are they? What happened to them? And what's the real story? More than 100 years ago, three fishermen found the best spot to live. They wanted to get away from the city and they want to be self-sufficient. They can fish whenever they want and directly from their window. And they built three houses here, right by the cliff over there. And they lived here legally. They were paying council fees for 50 years until 1961. They had water. The water come directly from natural spring. They have an electricity generator and they have fridges and they also have carpets. It's like a proper home. 1961, the government reviewed the permissive agreement and decided it's no longer legal for them to stay here. So they ordered the three fishermen, Bert, Gordon and Sid to leave. And two of them immediately moved away, but Bert, Bert refused. So he stayed here until one day a car on fire, on fire, it got pushed over over the cliff right onto his roof. Then, until then, he had to move and he was 75 years old by then. People think that everything has been discovered on this planet. Animals, plants, humans, and secret places. The story of Tabigai Cliff Houses ended with their destruction. Do you know where's the sad part of the story? When people come to visit this place, they don't visit the Tabigai Cliff Houses. In fact, they visit something more interesting. This 
This place is amazing for taking photos. I will post more photos on my Instagram. Our video for today with the rich history and amazing cave to explore and take photos. Hope you find it entertaining and don't forget to subscribe to Betty's channel and follow us on social media. See you next episode. Bye! Bye.